Hello Nabu users. Today I'm asking for your help in order to figure out the Nabu printer mystery. Yes, it's as dramatic as it sounds. So in my last video I showed you the Nabu writer and it's a neat little word processor for the Nabu which you can find on the Nabu network, right? And um, yeah, so I grabbed my Centronics GLP, stands for Great Little Printer, and indeed it is. And I connected it, right? Uh, to my surprise, I even had a matching cable. So the Naboo printer port is not a standard Centronics printer port, but it's a 15-pin male um, connector, right? And for some reason in my large stash of old crap cables, I indeed had a 15-pin to standard Centronics cable. So apparently that must have also been um, used on other computers, this cable, right? I don't know on which for which, um, but anyhow, I even had two of these cables, so I hooked it up, right, my printer, and then of course I was eager to figure out whether I could print something with the Naboo writer, and um, so, hello, this is a test, and it has two lines of text, right? So, by the way, the help is uh, symbol and then help, right? And there you actually find the manual for the word processor. It's like 10 pages of useful information. I'm not going to read all this, but reading through this, of course, I found out that in order to print the buffer, you use symbol one, right? So my great little printer is online, symbol one. Let's see what it does. Okay, it printed something. But, you see it only printed the first line, right? And, okay, let's try again. So maybe I need to print each line individually. But, uh, that's not it. Okay, now it's making a, a page feed. Okay. So whatever I do, it only prints one line, right? And, um, yeah. So, of course, then I had the idea, maybe the uh, strobe, uh, the busy signal is not... Um, correctly hooked up, right? And I looked at the Nabu technical manual and um, the printer port and the pinout is described there. It indeed has a printer busy signal and uh, it's on um, pin 11, right? And also my cable has pin 11 connected to Centronics pin 11 where again you'll find the busy signal, right? This printer also has a dip switch. Um, you can change the polarity of the busy signal from low to high, right? And I tried both versions, but to no avail, so it's always the same. It only prints one line. So, of course, I mean, this printer only has um, a buffer of one line, right? And uh, if the buffer is full, then it starts printing the line. The Naboo doesn't wait, right, and continues to send data. And, of course, since the printer is busy with printing its uh, current line, it misses all the data, right? And then... So all of this passes by because the busy signal, uh, the synchronization with the printer and the buffer and the Naboo is not working. So maybe I need to, um, you know, um, connect strobe to 11. So makes the connections from 1 to 11 or from uh, um, 11 to 1, basically. <laughs> so, you know, on both sides of the cable. I don't know. So if you have any tips on... Um, how to establish proper communication with a printer using busy and strobe, please let me know. I tried all kinds of combinations with the dip switches that I have, right, for the great little printer, but to no avail. And um, so that's not only the um, Nabu writer which suffers from this, but also the basic, right? So let me show you the basic quick. And of course, there is LPrint, which allows you to send something to the printer. And again, um, this doesn't. Um, doesn't wait for the printer either. So, now yeah, in basic, of course, you can at least say, okay, then I can do a busy waiting loop, right, and send the next character to the printer um, when it's ready after a wait time. Say we wanted to print the first hundred numbers, right, then we can do something like L print I, next I, right, and if I run this program, then again, I only have one, you know, um, on the printout. So, one idea, of course, then is to have a um, subroutine that waits, right? So, a waiting loop that is taking long enough time, actually, to give the printer enough time to 
um, to print the current number, right? And that way, of course, you can synchronize um, and get printed more than one line, but that's, of course, not the way to go. What you really want is um, to reach the end of the buffer, it seems. Oh, there's an error, actually. But that's because it's out of paper, right? But you can see that there is now three, four, five, six, and so on. So, um, yeah, primitive method. So, yeah, we need to figure out um, how to do the synchronization over the busy and strobe signals, right? So if you have any idea, please let me know. And in the meantime, I'll have to use basic and insert busy waiting loops. One more round. What's of course worse is that even L list, you know, doesn't work, right? You only get one line of your basic program. That's it. Alright guys, thanks for watching.